Tesla was founded in 2003 by the engineers Martin Eberhardt and Mark Tarpenning in San Carlos, California. It was originally called Tesla Motors, a name the company changed in 2017. The company was named after the 19th century inventor Nikola Tesla, best known for discovering the properties of rotating electromagnetic fields. His work led to what is known as alternating current, the form of electrical transmission still used today. This was as opposed to the far less efficient system called direct current favored by Thomas Edison. Tesla is historically noted for its significant contributions to electrical engineering and sciences, and in recent decades has become a pop culture icon among engineers. At the founding of Tesla, Eberhardt served as its CEO and Tarpenning served as CFO. They launched their company to develop and produce an entirely electric car, in part, based on the favorable reaction test markets had to General Motors' previous electric car experiment the EV1. Although GM only ran this program from 1996 to 1999, producing a limited run of cars that it never released for public purchase, it was generally considered successful from an engineering standpoint. Eberhardt and Tarpenning wanted to build upon that success. Although Musk has long been the face of Tesla, he did not join the company until 2004. He invested $30 million into the company and became the chairman of its board of directors. Notably, Musk would also help raise money from Google founders Sergey Brin and Larry Page in 2006. Originally, Eberhardt and Tarpenning dreamed of building an entirely electric sports car. In 2006 they unveiled the prototype for their Tesla Roadster which entered production in 2008. With the Roadster, Tesla achieved something that no company ever had. They produced an entirely electric car with practical specifications that could arguably meet consumer needs. Previous experiments in this field had failed because, among other issues, companies struggled to produce a battery powerful enough to keep cars on the road and a cost-effective motor that could fit inside a consumer vehicle and accelerate it to highway speed. The Roadster met those needs. The first model produced in 2008 could travel almost 250 miles on a single battery, with acceleration and top speed compared to many consumer-level sports cars. The Roadster used a standard lithium-ion battery structure, common to many electronic devices, and customers could recharge the car on a standard wall outlet. This did not, however, make the Roadster a widely viable consumer product. At its release the car costs a little more than $100,000, pricing most consumers out of the market. Further, the company immediately ran into the problem of charging time. The original Roadster could require between 24 and 48 hours to recharge on a standard home outlet. Charging time remains one of the biggest problems with the widespread adoption of electric cars. While Tesla has dramatically improved its technology in this regard, to this day it takes more than an hour to fully recharge one of the company's vehicles even under ideal conditions. This puts them at a dramatic disadvantage compared to the minutes it takes to refill a car with gasoline. 2003, Tesla Motors founded by Martin Eberhardt and Mark Tarpenning in San Carlos, California. They serve as its CEO and CFO, respectively. 2004, Elon Musk invests $30 million and joins Tesla as the chairman of its board of directors. 2006, Tesla showcases the prototype for its first car, the all-electric Roadster. 2007, Eberhardt resigns as CEO of Tesla. He is replaced by interim CEO Michael Marks. 2007, Zeed Drury takes over as Tesla's permanent CEO. 2008, the Roadster enters production. Elon Musk receives the first vehicle produced. 2008, Zeed Drury resigns as Tesla's CEO. He is replaced by Elon Musk who remains CEO to this day. 2008, Tesla announces its plans for the Model S and M. 2009, Eberhard files a lawsuit against Tesla and Musk alleging that he was forced out of the company, and that Musk has taken credit for creating a company that Eberhard and Tarpenning built. He drops the suit later that year. 2009, facing financial troubles, Tesla seeks investment from Daimler AG and a loan from the Department of Energy. 
2009, Tesla relocates its headquarters to Palo Alto, where it remains to this day. 2010, Tesla goes public, raising $226 million in its IPO. 2011, Tesla showcases the prototype for its Model S, the company's first sedan. 2012, the Model S sedan goes into full-time production. 2012, Tesla discontinues production of the Roadster. 2012, Tesla launches its first supercharger charging stations with six locations in California. 2013, Tesla posts its first quarterly profit. 2014, Tesla announces its Nevada Gigafactory, where the company will manufacture the batteries for all of its products. 2015, the company enters the solar power market, announcing a line of products to power homes and businesses based on a combination of solar panels and batteries. 2016, Tesla announces plans for the Model 3 sedan, its first car aimed at a mass market. 2017, Tesla Motors changes its name to Tesla, Inc. This remains the company's name to this day. 2018, Tesla misses quotas for the Model 3 sedan, producing over a three-month period less than half of what it had forecast it could produce in one week. 2018, Musk announces on Twitter that he plans to take the company private at $420 per share, and that he has already secured the funds to do so. He does not take the company private and has not, at time of writing, done so. This leads to a flurry of trading that drives up the price of Tesla stock. 2018, the SEC charges Musk with securities fraud. 2018, Musk and Tesla accept a settlement from the SEC. Musk pays $20 million and steps down as the chairman of Tesla's board of directors. He is replaced by Robin Dental. Tesla also pays $20 million and agrees to oversee Musk's Twitter account. 2018, the Department of Justice begins an investigation into whether Tesla misled investors about its Model 3 production capacity. 2019, the SEC seeks a contempt order after Musk makes a Twitter announcement regarding Tesla's production capacity. The settlement is revised after a judge finds that Tesla has conducted no oversight of Musk's Twitter activity. 2019, Musk and Tesla unveil the Cybertruck, an electric six-seater pickup truck. Musk later claims that Tesla has gotten 250,000 orders for the Cybertruck 2020. On the wave of a strong fiscal quarter and analyst upgrades, Tesla stock surges, eventually reaching over $900. For a while, 2019 had not been kind to Tesla's stock. After opening at $310.12 on January 1st and reaching a high of $347.31, Tesla's stock price has dropped considerably. It reached the year-to-date low of $178.97 in just June. It was, in many ways, a difficult year for the company. It has lost several significant members of its executive team, including its CTO J.B. Straubel, CFO D. Pakahuya and General Counsel Dean Butswinkas. Tesla began 2019 by laying off 7% of its employees and publicly contemplated closing most of its dealerships and laying off its retail employees in March. This led to conflicting forecasts for Tesla stock. Some analysts believe that the company has a pattern of cultural, leadership and technical problems that will cause more serious problems in the long run. Others believe that the stock's dip reflects an overreaction by the market to short-term news, which has priced the company based more on Elon Musk's Twitter account than its actual value. But Tesla's stock began rebounding in the second half of 2019 after hitting those lows. After spending several months over $200, reports of much stronger than expected Q3 earnings sent the stock price surging. Share prices continued to rise through the remainder of 2019 as things continued to go well for the company, orders for its upcoming Cybertruck, Musk's defamation trial ending in his favor, and closed 2019 at over $418 per share. That momentum got even stronger in 2020, and as reports of yet another massively profitable quarter came in, shares surged to unprecedented levels. By February 4, Tesla had surpassed a stock price of $900, more than double its price when the year started just a month previously. 
We coming to the end of the video if you want to know more videos subscribe our channel.